Hey, this is John with Two Moose Home Inspections. We've made it to the third and final video about ice dams. Let's talk about the root cause. Welcome to Inspector Insights. The underlying issue that results in ice dams is heat loss from the conditioned space of the house. There are dozens of small air leaks from the house into the attic that we find in almost every house that we inspect. A small percentage of modern homes are focusing on air tightness, but the overwhelming majority of homes that are built in the U.S. never gave air tightness a second thought. During construction, holes are drilled to run wire, plumbing, and vents. Rarely are the holes sealed with caulk, clothes sprayed foam, or any other method. Instead, the holes are drilled larger than they need to be, or just left completely abandoned. This open space is not just an avenue for conditioned air to leak out of the house, it's also a path for pests and allergens to enter the house. A quality insulation installation company will seal the air gaps, and that's the first line of defense against heat loss. Some air gaps cause more issues than just ice dams. If a bathroom or clothes dryer is vented into the attic space, well, that means that hot humid air is being vented directly into the attic. When hot humid air touches a cold surface, such as the underside of a roof with snow on it, the result is condensation, which leads to mold growth. Laundry dryer vents and bathroom vents must be vented to the exterior. If you see insulation that is dark, dark in color, it's more than likely not mold because mold cannot grow on fiberglass, but instead it's probably dust that has been trapped by the fiberglass. This discoloration may be an indication of an air leak that needs to be resolved. If the insulation that is installed isn't loose fill, then there are most likely gaps in spaces that the heat can escape. If bat insulation is being used, then there would be two layers, one on top of the other, that are perpendicular to each other. This will help to reduce heat loss. Some attics have sections that are forgotten and never insulated. Others didn't receive much, much insulation as the rest of the attic did. These areas are huge energy losses and directly cause ice dams. The slope of the roof often prevents enough insulation from being installed around the edge of the structure, which results in heat loss. Insulation contractors can pull back the insulation and use a closed cell spray foam, which has higher insulation value per inch than its competitors, which will reduce heat loss in those tight areas. If the soffit vents are blocked, the attic space may not be able to vent properly, which can make ice dams worse and cause mold growth inside the attic. Some attics are converted into conditioned living spaces, but unfortunately, maintaining the required insulation value in the attic ceilings rarely happens, and heat loss to the roof isn't primarily caused by air leaks, but instead thermal bridging. Thermal bridging is when heat is transferred from one surface to the other through contact. This is similar to how a hot coffee mug doesn't burn your hand until you reach out and touch it. Since there's a limited amount of space between the attic and the roof, the heat of the interior drywall is transferred into the ceiling joists, which is then transferred into the roof sheathing, and then into the shingles, and then into the snow, causing it to melt. If adding insulation isn't an option, there may be little that can be done to prevent ice dams with your roof system as it currently is. Now, one retrofit option that is available is the installation of a cold roof, which is effectively a raised roof that allows air to flow under the roof covering and reduces the effects of heat loss and thermal bridging. Seeing icicles on the edge of a house is not necessarily a sign of ice dams, but if the icicles are brown or discolored, then this is an indicator that the water is leaking underneath the shingles and into the attic space, and then you can see it coming back out of the house. When snow is melting during a warmer day, if the drips from that snow are coming behind the fascia or the soffit, then there's an issue that needs to be resolved. But most people don't actually act until they see the water inside their house, not just under the fascia or the soffit. So what are the costs? That is a question I won't be able to answer for you. I can't even give you a ballpark answer because we discussed snow removal solutions ranging from DIY snow removal, heat tape installation, the re-insulating of your house, the installation of a cold roof system. These fixes range from $20 for a roof rake to $40,000 for a new roof system on a small house. What I will be able to tell you is that you should have a local expert look at your house during the winter or review images that you've taken during the winter because documentation is very important to create a plan of action to mitigate the risks of ice dams. Just remember, we have never seen a perfect house and almost every house has had an ice dam at one point. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions or if you'd like to schedule a home inspection, please visit twomoosehomeinspections.com. Have a wonderful day.